Good morning, everybody. Enter the stars. And many of you have asked me to look at childhood's end. Now, as you know, I go very, very deep in the rabbit hole with these decodes. And I will work on this today. And hopefully by the end of today, I'll have a decode for you on childhood's end. But the first thing I did in this teaser that I'm going to present to you before we get into the decode was to look at the roots of childhood's end. And what I found was something simply unbelievable. That Pink Floyd had released a song called Childhood's End in 1972. I want you to look at the release date of when this song released. June 15th. We've talked about these mirror dates. And this is simply creepy. Released on the 166th day of the year with 199 remaining. There's your yin and yang, six and nine, and the double mirroring digits. But here's what all is also amazing. They did a live performance of Childhood's End, the song we just talked about, on 3773 in Chicago, Illinois. 3773. The 3773 cube star matrix. 37 being the 12th prime number and 73 being the 21st prime number. Pointing the way to Jesus Christ who was conceived on 1221, the darkest day of the year. And then would be born 38 weeks later on 9-11. And if that just blew you away, you need to listen to it another time, because this is the truth. They know who Jesus Christ is, but here is what's up for debate. The intent, good or evil. Here are the lyrics to Childhood's End by Pink Floyd. You shout in your sleep, perhaps the price is just too steep. Is your conscience at rest if once put to the test? You awake with a start to just the beating of your heart. Just one man beneath the sky with two ears and two eyes. Now remember, this song released in the year that the World Trade Center would open on 4-4. This live show, Child Says End, which was pretty rare, happened in Chicago on the 80th Meridian, where Obama is from. And look at the lyrics. All the iron turned to rust. All the proud men turned to dust. Which is exactly what happened to the World Trade Center. 28 years after 1973. Now this song by Pink Floyd, which was based off of Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End. And we'll get into Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. Clark, the basis for the TV miniseries as well. The song by Pink Floyd was released on an album called Obscured by Clouds, which is exactly what's been happening in the skies above our heads through chemtrails. Now, it's funny they mentioned the halfway point to 9-11, which is 1987, the 14th year. And they also say that in addition to the song being based off of Clark's novel, that the song and Genesis, Watcher of the Skies, were both influenced by the novel. Watcher of the Skies, the ruler of the air. The last version ever played of Childhood's End was on March 10th, 1973, which was... The 69th day of the year with 296 remaining, another mirror date. So you see these mirror anomaly synchronicities, these glitches in the matrix, go back dozens and dozens of years, you guys. March 10th, the last time Child Sits In would play, was the 69th day of the year with 296 remaining. And as we remember that fateful year, the year the World Trade Center opened, we begin to realize something very bizarre. That 19 days after 
the last live performance of Childhood's End would be my birthday, March 29th. 19 days and six days after that, the World Trade Center would open. 19 days and six days, the nine and the six, the 69, the yin and the yang, the last live performance and the release of the song on the 166th day of the year with 199 remaining. And there is your proof once again, after many other proofs that we've shown on this channel, that all of these dates in the World Trade Center story mean everything about our current reality. Take care and be safe, you guys. We'll be covering Childhood's End, the miniseries. Stay tuned. Take care and be safe.